South Africa, the solution. Mencius Moldbug. October 21, 2009. Unqualified Reservations. Narrated by Skeptical Waves. South Africa, the solution. I shouldn't ask a question as inflammatory as that last post, without giving my own answer. The answer is that what South Africa needs is not white government, black government, English government, Dutch government, or even Jewish government. Although I'm sure it would do quite nicely under Moshe Phelan, what South Africa needs is responsible government, regardless of the race, color or creed of whoever is calling the shots. Both sides of the argument would agree with this statement instantly, I suspect. So it would just about everyone in South Africa. Yet they cannot get it together to do anything about the matter. Why? Because both sides are firmly committed to democracy, racist no less than liberals. Now, it so happened that reasonably competent government, at least compared to the ANC was provided until 1994 by a race-restricted democracy. In a country where the upper class is white, you will get a better government by restricting voting to whites. Golly, imagine that. Yet, even within the ballpark of restricted democracy, racial qualification is an incredibly crude measure. A much better result would be achieved, for instance, by psychometric qualification. If your IQ is less than 120, you have to go through life with the dunce cap of a non-voter. On the other hand, you get to go through life with a government elected by those whose IQ is over 120. Even better, the result of the test could be undisclosed, so you have no idea whether or not your vote matters. You feel no humiliation if it doesn't, you receive no advantage if it does. Obviously, this test has nothing to do with race, so it cannot be regarded as racist. Ha! Huh. Of course, the design is pointless, because this little eugenics experiment would be regarded with the same obloquy as apartheid, by the same people who defeated apartheid. Whoever those people may be, they obviously still have it going on. If apartheid was defeated by the Jews, you are right back in the ring with the Jews. And this time, you don't have nuclear weapons. South Africans who demand change are probably better off abandoning democracy altogether, in favor of some more modern system of government. Or go all retro, and demand a monarchy, an absolute monarchy. If you must be out of line, as you must, be so far out of line that it just confuses the powers that be. But for whites to be safe in South Africa, South Africa does not need white rule. All it needs is a responsible government, which will govern the country according the true laws of reality, eradicating wrong and upholding right. Law enforcement in 2009 is not a genuinely difficult problem, not even in a country with substantial disparities in wealth. More rigorous and flexible policing will always solve the problem, and is always better than allowing it to continue. Thus, there is an excellent reason for whites in South Africa not to advocate for white rule. Because white rule is so strongly opposed by so many powerful people, many of whom, of course, are Jews, it is by far the most difficult and unlikely road to your real goal which is responsible government of European standards. Therefore, by supporting white rule, you are expletive walking into an expletive slur trap. Do. South Africa's problem is simply democracy. Because of its wide range of cultural sophistication, South Africa is probably the worst country in the world in which to introduce democracy. By comparison, Somalia, Iraq and Afghanistan might as well be Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Imho, the only way South Africa can recover from its tailspin is if its collective electorate, black and white, realizes that democracy in South Africa does not work and a replacement is essential. This would be an extremely implausible event, but it is not as implausible as either, a, a return to responsible government under the ANC or, b, a return to white rule. Both of which strike me as quite impossible. Therefore, rational actors should ally around the implausible and try to make it plausible, rather than banging their heads against obvious but impossible walls.